20. Google Plex 300. Mm -hmm. This is me. I know what I'm doing. You know what I was going to do? I was I'm Larry Cleek and I've been teaching here at Covenant Love Community School for 23 years. Um, some of the subjects I've taught, of course, in second grade, I taught just about everything. Reading courses, maths, a little bit of introductory in science and PE, Bible class, which is pretty important to us. In seventh grade, I've, I've uh, specialized in uh, world history, U.S. history, some health. I've taught seventh grade math. And then I've taught chemistry, physical science, <laughs> physics, and I've taught uh, biology. Well, um, my name is Mrs. Lawson, and I've been teaching here almost 20 years. It will be 20 years next year. My biggest reward is to just get to know the kids, to get to know them as people, and. Um, to see that they're learning and growing. I get to be with them more than one year usually, and I like to see the changes from when I start with them to when they move on to the next grade. What I enjoy the most is the family atmosphere and the fact that you can really get to know people here. You get to know the kids, you get to know what they like, you really see them as individual people and it's like a big family and that's what makes this school special. My name is Pamela Bateman and I am the principal of the Covenant Love Community School and I came to visit the school when I was a college student and observed the person who began the school. She was a Norwegian woman named Rangenhild Shalas and had come to the U.S. with a Fulbright scholarship and when she was here met the elders at this church that we are in now that was called Lovin' at the time and it was a Jesus movement church, kind of a hippie church, and had a lot of young people who were looking for something alternative to the traditional church and they were starting to have children and um, being concerned about education as opposed to just what they were doing as young adults. Uh, I've attended CLC for three years now. When I was going to public schools, I was picked on and called names, so it's nice not to have that happen. I am an assistant administrator here at Covenant Love Community School. I've been on staff since 1989, so I'm, I'm, I've been here for a long time. The goal still remains to assist parents in providing education that, that fits with what their, the parents believe. So it's a, a partnership between church, home, and school that we think is very important. I went to Covenant Love for nine years, actually probably more like 10 years. So my mom was a teacher there. Um, all the classes, especially my class, were really small. So any bullying or put downs or any of that kind of thing was pretty much dealt with immediately. Uh, I felt like that really made it a comfortable place for me. You know, I wasn't afraid of what other people thought of me or anything like that, just because it was it was so small. Um, and that also helped me academically, the, I think, what's the fancy because word? if I had a question, I could just mm -hmm. ask the teacher, like okay. right in class, and they could right. spend exactly. as much time as they needed to just to teach me. So, in a sense, it was almost like uh, a tutoring situation whenever you needed it, uh, and that definitely helped me. We have a, a very diverse staff. All together, when we counted up the teachers that were contributing both from our, our course staff, our part-timers, our volunteer teachers, and some staff people from Dryden that come over to offer support services, we have 20 people for 45 students. We have 45 full-time and five part-time students this year, and we range from pre-K through eighth, actually ninth grade this year. We have one ninth grader in a special program. And so there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one participation with the children, a lot of small group work, and kind of coming from 
our core philosophy that education is through relationship here at our school and that a, a good relationship with the teacher is the doorway to both learning and causing a child to open up because we still believe that when hearts are open that minds are open too and we have seen that evidenced again and again.